nervous? Not really. Not with singing with the Mondays, I don't. And even singing Atmosphere, wouldn't sing with Hooky, because I sing usually four songs with Hooky. But um, that was daunting at the beginning, because it was Joy Division fans and the pressure. A lot of lads that he asked to do it said no with Hooky, because he was scared of internet criticism. Yeah. Um, I can't let that bother me, because... Um, you know, I know I can sing, I wouldn't sing the songs if I couldn't sing them well. Hooky wouldn't have asked me to sing them if I didn't sing them well. The Mondays fans love me singing those songs. So um, and I do house tunes and all that lot. So I always get credit for my voice. So I don't really mind what people are going to say. Don't, no need to be nervous because I know I can sing. Even if I have a sore throat, I just, you know, I'm used to it. I've been doing it long enough to not worry. The, the stuff I would get nervous about is things I'm, I'm not used to doing. Um, singing in... When my grandma was still alive, singing at her old folks' home, that used to make me nervous. Really? What yeah. Was when did you do that? I did it a lot. I used to do it... Um, what age were you? Right up until she died, really, so up to 92, after I'd done um, X Factor and all that. So, But before, I did it from being a kid. I used to do stuff like that, sing for hospitals and people, and things like that, and working men's clubs. You're going to be more nervous doing that. Weddings, when you can see everybody, and they're all there, and they're all expecting you to be amazing, <laughs> and some of them want Shirley Bassey, they don't really want you, and... It's um, mm -hmm. I like, but I like challenges. You know, um, sometimes life can be a bit easy if you if you are a singer and you do well. It can be a bit, a little bit easy. It's good to challenge yourself and do stuff that you're not used to doing. And I did um, a part in Footballers' Wives, and that was completely out of my zone. Stuff like that, I was like, I I thought I'd learnt my lines, but I only looked at one page. I didn't think I got a load of lines. They give me loads of lines, but I just thought it was one page, like a little did speech. You had loads. They give me like different scenes, and I just I just went to the page it was open and I didn't check. So. Um, yeah, very flattering. Really? So, so when did you do that? Oh, that would have been about 2005 Footballers' Wives. And um, yeah, but stuff like that, it's like right out of my comfort zone. And then there's things that are too far out that I won't do, like The Jungle, I've said no to, yeah. and you Big said Brother. No to the jungle. And Big Brother and all that, yeah, because I um, can't do heights for The Jungle. Yeah. And I think it's just smashed the place up if we're in Big Brother. <laughs> because of the people, uh, being locked in with a load of people I don't like would be my worst what nightmare. About Strictly, can you dance? No, I can't do um, choreography. That choreography dancing yeah. and um, no, so I'm, I'm, I'm a good da I'm a good dancer when um, when I'm out. Yeah. But I couldn't be doing all um, Latin and all that samba. Yeah, no, um, no, my coordination's not that good. But I, like I like to dance, but no. So, um, but I think if those kind of shows are more respectable, probably. But I love doing singing in the rainforest with the Mondays because yeah, it was cool. musical. It was something unique. We had a great adventure. We're in Panama in a jungle with a tribe. We wrote a new tune, so sure. that was that was a fantastic experience. Other than that, if it's not music related, I usually go now. I'm not, not really bothered about doing that. Um, leave that to Sean. He loves it. He calls himself Showbiz Sean. <laughs> he loves doing Come Down with Me, Mr. and Mrs. and all that lot. But no, I'm. Um, it's not really my cup of tea. And even if they dangle, which they, they have dangled more money than you know, you can buy a house with a lot of the money they dangle. Yeah. Um, but. No, I don't know how much it'd take for them to dangle for me to do a jungle when I'm scared of heights. Because I think you you come out of it rubbish if you yeah, if you can't do anything. They know you're just there for the money, but um, and you pretend oh it's because of whatever it's cathartic. No, it's not. It's, you're doing it for the money and stuff. So or you've got no career. Luckily, I'm always working, so I don't need to um, at the minute. Yeah. For those that don't know, how did you first start getting off? Well, you obviously knew you had a voice from a young age. When did you first start joining the Mondays and singing with them? Well, I didn't, like some people say they came out of the womb singing. I didn't for a long time. <laughs> a long time I didn't. My mum used to say shut up all the time when I used to sing along. I didn't think of myself as a singer until I just realised, I think it was about 12, and I sang for this woman and I saw the response of people. She ran a pub. She was dying of cancer. She said, go downstairs and sing on the stage. And then everyone went, wow, and people were getting goosebumps. I'm like, really? I've always been told to shut up and not been in the choir or anything. And then um, I went to Butlins, did a talent competition and won it and started winning talent competitions. And from there it went on. And then I realised I really loved punk. Mm -hmm. I loved um, a group called Crass, the best. Um, I loved Sex Pistols. But obviously my voice didn't really go with that kind of music. So, and I went to a bit of a posh school, Berry Grammar. So there was no, I couldn't see how I was going to be in, um, in a band or anything, um, unless I did really cabaret type songs and became yeah. a little old woman at a very young age. So um, that's what I sort of did for a bit, and then I had a bad marriage, so I stopped for a while. And um, when I started again, I did more dance tunes, and then I saw the Mondays on a programme called The Other Side of Midnight, hosted by Tony Wilson, and they were doing a song called Performance, and I just decided then I want to sing with them. I think I'd be good for them, and they'd be good. that'd be the perfect band for me. Um, it ticks all my boxes of what I want to do. So we're back here on say, Sunday Night Live with Joe McGrath. So as Joe's popped out for a minute because uh, we've just sorted out the electricity. We just found out he wasn't actually paying the bill. Yeah. So uh, well, he's gone to sort that out. So here we are with Clint Boom, ladies and gentlemen, from the Inspiral Carpets. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Local okay. legends, yes. So, Clint, it's nearly Christmas. Tell yeah. us what's Christmas like in the Boone household. Uh, it's always a bit manic because uh, my three youngest kids are five, eight, and eleven. So they're all little boys, and it's all about Hot Wheels and whatever the latest Wii games are and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, but I enjoy Christmas. It's nice. Do you, as a, as a dad, do you kind of play the whole "you better behave today" or Santa's going to know all about it? We always do that, but they didn't know it. They figure it out by the time they're two, don't they? they know it's yeah. all. <laughs> Sorry, if, if there's any kids watching, Santa is real. No, my kids are just like they just figured it out ages ago, and I still play the game of you know keep yeah. the, keep the uh, fireplace clear because it's coming down that tonight. Yeah, because they're all about six inches wide. And kids like they will never get down that. He's got a big fat belly on him. <laughs> but yeah, I mean um, yeah, we play the game, and it's I'm pretty hands on as a dad, so I, I think Christmas is a for any any parent is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, that's good, good. And also, uh, you work with, you work with Radio X, uh, uh, and you've got a new time slot as well in your show. How are you finding that? Yeah, Sunday nights, seven till eleven. It's um, it's a long long shift at the end of a week week because I always DJ Friday nights and Saturday nights. Yeah. So Sunday's usually my recovery day, you know. But I have to now go out and try and sound intelligent for four hours live across the nation on Radio X. But I'm enjoying it. And how is that different from your other previous show? What kind of different? Because it's a four hour slot now. This one. It's a four hour slot, so. and it's there's no. There's no news, there's no travel news, there's no producer, there's no work experience people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, it's, it's a different kind of radio than I've ever done because it's more, it's just me doing anecdotes around songs really. So yeah. I, I'm enjoying it, but compared to the drive time show that I did until recently, that was like five days a week for 10 years or something, I was yeah. doing that kind of thing. Um, so Do I've got a bit, a bit more space in my life now, which is nice. Yeah, you've got a bit more freedom in the show as well, because you always have to cut to news and traffic. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like more freedom, and yeah. Now you, so is, it a, is the show kind of like a, a, based on what you want to play? Or what, I what play, you like it at the moment and stuff like that? Or it's, you... it's stuff that's got to be on, on brand for XFM, so it's stuff from our archives, you yeah. know what I mean? So I'm not going to play some obscure reggae track, because it's not yeah. what Radio X is about, even though I love reggae and all these kinds of music. But um, yeah, it's just a case of celebrating the amazing records that we've got in the, in the archives there, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's nice to have a bit more space in me my week to do you know big Christmas light switch ons like this yeah because <laughs> when you got the email for this gig you must have been thinking you know I'm doing something great for charity it's got lots of kids there and stuff like that I just thought it was the big one it's the big one yeah I mean I'm not it's, I'm not bothered but it's just sometimes you've got to think about what, how, how you profile and that and yeah because you I mean, probably lose Twitter followers over this I'd just, say can you, know you cut I mean? that bit out because yeah. it's, it's not, I, not everything I do is for ego you know what I mean but yeah I, yeah. I, I rocked up today. I told my wife it was a big gig, and I know. so if you could just make it look like it's massive when it goes out. Because <laughs> <laughs> like to, to turn on these lights, they're laughing at me. I know, but, but, but like to turn on these lights, you kind of normally have to like win the X Factor or something like that. You yeah, know but they're the big lever. But, isn't, but yeah. isn't that a great recommendation that they got you in? You know what I mean? Like you're, you know, inspiring carpet. You're back on tour as well. Which oh is yeah, also we're on tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of all the six people that are going to watch this, Who now, me? Yeah. Right. Of all the six people going to watch, if four of them bought a ticket to go and see yeah, you, that's laughing. what. A dinner. It's the biggest you know crowd I've ever had. <laughs> it's a good dinner, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? It's a good dinner. <laughs> no, no, yeah, seriously, it's a good dinner. December two. We're going out to Shed Seven. They've been friends with us for like twenty odd years. Shed Seven. So we're we're going to a big party four weeks right up until Christmas all over the UK, and it's all. Pretty much sold out. I think the Isle of Man hasn't sold out yet. If you're in the Isle of Man, get a ticket and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't have televisions there, so you probably don't know. Yeah, so probably, they, probably, they probably. don't they're, I think they're a, they're a day behind on the newspapers as right. well. So, you know they, they, I mean. Not even got internet about Isle of Man, have they? No. no there'll be somebody watching that, they'll be like tweeting, right. eh, boom. <laughs> What's he saying about us? Not over here, we've, got, we've had internet since 2012. Us. <laughs> as this is. Uh, <laughs> is that the talk? <laughs> is that the like talk? Is that the talk? Is that the talk in the Isle of Man? They probably do, you know, that furry make it sick all the way Where are you going? Oh, look good there. I'm, not, I'm, I'm seriously, I'm not looking forward to the three and a half hour furry at this time of year to the Isle of Man because it's supposed to be bad every year. Yeah. And I'm not good on water, mate. I can't even swim proper. Can you not? <laughs> Maybe that's to, we should ask your wife for swimming lessons. For She's Christmas a brilliant swimmer. She does a mile every day, my wife. Does she? Yeah, just try and get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> she comes back, though. Hey, yeah, no, she does. So yeah, yeah. Comes back. Yeah, so, no, it's come back for the moon. <laughs> Sorry. Comes back for the moon. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, uh, obviously, this is uh, going out in Manchester. When is your Manchester dates for the Inspiral Carpus? When can we go and see you? Oh, God, I think it's 11th and 12th or 10th and 11th. It's sold out anyway, so forget it. Clip <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
So it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Sunday Night Live's uh, Christmas light switch on with Clint Boone. Clint, uh, thank you very thank much you for doing this. Is it outside, yeah? Pardon? Are they all outside, the people? Uh, the, pe the people are, uh, the, well, they're them, 10, there. Is it, um, is it in here? Yeah, that's... I thought, I thought, I thought life, it was a big one in Cheadle. Big one, what? Big light switch on. Uh, no, sorry, mate, this is the, uh, this is the Which tree. One? Shows you what, what, what are you doing there? Boonami! Believe it. So they're out there. I'm, I'm this is uh, this is pretty much it, uh, Clint. Got to be honest with you. I did, what? This, these ten are pretty much it. We dragged that one from the next door neighbours. Cheers, Charles. I thought uh, I thought why is a big gig. This. I said it was cheap. Can't you? Can't you? you can lie. I said all the kids and everything. Well, it's just that, mate. That's a Christmas tree, John. Yeah, you've got to turn it on, mate. I've come all this way to turn a bloody Christmas tree on. If you won't mind, mate, there's people watching, you know. Do you want him to turn it on? Yeah. Okay, that's my like. So just attack it from the side, you'll feel a bit of a knob. Just flick that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to move this piece thing here. I knit that. Just get stuck in there, Clint. Any minute oh, turn now. The Christmas tree on view. Yeah, please, please. Jeez. Tell me when you've got it and we'll do a countdown, you know, Which proper Blackpool here? style. Yes, have you got it? I can't, there's a wire. Right, have I'm you found the knob? It. I feel, I feel a knob. Okay, right, we're going to do a countdown in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The old street's gone out. Oh, yeah. What happened? Has it blown it?